We're at the Wild Center in Tupper Lake to see a new attraction that's been getting a lot of buzz. Let's take a look. The Wild Center, a museum of natural history. Hundreds of animals. Miles of trails. And now, a new multi-million dollar exhibit. Giving visitors a whole new view of the Adirondacks. The original idea for the Wild Walk was created nine or ten years ago with the original museum. There was always going to be some sort of outdoor walkway. Originally it was just one tower with stairs, but we wanted to make it more accessible. So the, uh, the plan to, to make it accessible ended up being the six towers. The whole construction project from the starting to dig the foundations to the finished product was about 18 months. So the original designer for uh, Wild Walk, it was his intention that these conical shapes represent the uh, shape of an evergreen tree. Right. So what you have here is a uh, feeder alley. So this is essentially being a bird blind. We have our bird feeders on the outside. Uh, we have um, right. okay. dust bass, bird bass, and you can see all our narratives are talking about bird behavior. So each one of the towers are 40 feet tall. And as you can see, the, the platforms on each one of the towers is start to increase on, on every tower. Okay. So the lay of the land, the land is kind of gently sloping downhill and the decks are increasing. So we're gaining up in elevation, getting up to canopy height. Okay. Now why this rust color? This is brand new. Yep. It's called Corten steel. We chose the Corten steel as opposed to a galvanized steel uh, because we like that, uh, that, that rust color um, looks more like, the, like a tree. So this is Tower 3, and Tower 3 is about uh, animal senses. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to glue down some coins on the deck. Okay. You know, because what, what do you see when you see coins on the deck? You know, your eyes go immediately to the money on the ground. Uh -huh. So the narrative here talks about uh, how animals, cavity nesters, they hone in on specific size holes in the tree mm -hmm. so for, to build their nests. Over here, we're going to have... Uh, something that uh, uh, megaphones, so you stick your head in between mm -hmm. and it enhances your hearing. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about how animals uh, have so much better hearing than humans. So where are we headed now? So we're heading up toward Tower 4. Okay. And we're going to talk about this exhibit that's on the bridge between 3 and 4. So at this exhibit, we're going to talk about uh, the succession story. And it's basically the same succession story that you, that you learn in school, but we're tying it in with this property. So originally this property was all a big farm. Okay. And it was farmed between 1900 and right up until the late 60s. So um, we're gonna have a photograph. We have a photograph that I date between 1917 and 1923. It looks like it's taken out of a biplane. And it shows us all just a big farm field. Okay. And 17 is when Route 3 went in and you can see a Model A on the, on the road. Then we, we take a look at the, the uh, scotch pine forest here. The scotch pines are uh, native invasive species. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you, they stop farming here, these trees really love them open fields and they, and they grew up. You can see it's all a big monoculture here and they kind of choked out the native species. Now I saw a sketch of this. This is like the highlight of the walk. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the highlights, yep. Yeah. Okay. We're featuring the shamrock spider here. Now, shamrock spiders are orb oh, wow. weavers, uh -huh. and they, um, they like to build their webs up in the trees. You know, you're getting all this, this information for the natural history, and, and then you've got a spider web that you can get out on. All right, I guess it's safe. It's safe. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is not wise in a skirt. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> is it fun? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so bizarre. <laughs> so all through the construction, we had a uh, um, inspectors here. They inspect all the welds, okay. uh, the bridges. It can, ho it can hold uh, 2,400 pounds and uh, one facilities manager. I can see this being a ton of fun for kids. It is fun. It's fun for the kids and the kids at heart. The team got together and we decided that it was a little bit too linear with just the six towers. And everybody thought we needed a little more fun. So we tried to come up with these safely dangerous ideas. The spider web, the eagle's nest, the swinging bridges, the twig house here, and the snag. 
Yep, I can feel the safely dangerous. <laughs> you're definitely, it's definitely holding you, but you're not really sure. <laughs> you're not really sure. So the snag here. The snag. This is the snag. Okay. So this allows us to talk about uh, how many creatures uh, live inside these trees. Mm -hmm. So as a tree matures, you know, the fungus is start eating on the cellulose and then you'll have insects that move in and then you'll have the uh, woodpeckers that come and they poke holes through the bark to get at the insects. Mm -hmm. And then they're making cavities with those holes. They nest in those cavities. Mm -hmm. And then other species um, later in later years uh, nest in those cavities. We're gonna go down in the basement and see what's living in the bottom of the tree. Living in the bottom of the tree, okay. Oh. <laughs> So this is the bear's den? The bear's den, yes. Okay. So the bears will get into the base of these trees and they'll dig it out and they'll den up for the winter. And that's where they have their cubs. Yeah. So we'll have ambient sound here. You'll be able to hear the bear snoring. We actually have some cub sounds also. Okay. And it's a great photo op. It's big enough to get the whole family back there. Another bridge. How many bridges are there? There's three swinging bridges. Okay. And all together with the other, how many bridges are on the wild walk? Do you know? Nine. Nine. Ten? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about it like that. So here we're featuring this uh, bald eagle's nest. Bald eagles will make a very large nest like this, and they've seen them about this size. They tend to nest in the same trees every year, and what they'll do is they'll, they'll, they'll keep building the nest larger and larger. Oh my gosh. So I think the interpretation will be down below uh, but up here is just because you get up here and you just want to uh, see the see the uh, the view. You can see just coming up an extra eight feet. What difference it is in, yeah. in, in the view? It's amazing. So this is actually the highest point yes. of the wild walk. Yep. Okay. Wow. 